What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we are having a look at the latest limit break expansions that are going to be arriving into the game now i have missed the last like couple of months of limit break expansions but today we're going to go through it and hopefully we'll be able to continue doing this moving forward to just have a look at the limit break expansions for upcoming characters see if there's any really niche ones that may be worth looking into um so i guess without further ado let's go ahead and uh, jump straight into the video and start talking about each of these characters and see what upgrades they're going to be receiving the first character that we're going to be talking about is Scratchman Apu. So with Apu, this Dex Rare Recruit character has a pretty okay special, healing, beneficial slots, he also gives you bind removal, removes rainbow shield, and depending on how much you've overhealed, you'll be able to get the ability to extend the duration of attack boosts. This Apu character doesn't really see that much play, so let's go ahead and have a look and see what he actually receives. He does get minus one cooldown, which will put him down to a 12 turn cooldown, and he actually gains, I believe this is the hunger limit break ability. Um, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, obviously more characters to, to gain hunger is going to be super useful. Remember that even if you don't have these characters' abilities unlocked, even if they are not expanded, you'll still be able to feed duplicates into them to increase their potential abilities so that ever in the future, if you need it, you'll be able to expand them to have this ability ready to go. So, you know, the character receives minus one cooldown and a bit of hunger. It's, it's okay, but until you actually need this ability, I probably wouldn't recommend Limit Break expanding the Rare Recruit. The next character to receive a Limit Break expansion is this Strength Luffy, which was actually uh, debuting during the Ace and Akainu batch. So with the Luffy character, he's also got a pretty good special ability, getting top and ro bottom row slots into matching, locking your slots for one turn, and then removing five turns of paralysis and special bind, and also giving you a chain boost for two turns. This Luffy is actually super solid, but unfortunately he doesn't receive any additional cooldown via Limit Break expansion. Little bit of a missed opportunity in my book, but you can see that his Limit Break ability that he does unlock is the Fear Resistance, resisting five turns of fear. This is perfect for a character such as Luffy because he does have the ability to resist special bind, which means that you'll be able to use his special to unbind, unspecial bind your characters, despite being inflicted with the fear debuff, but he also has the ability to, uh, you know, can carry over the strength slot if you've, uh, if you hit a perfect, which is not really that useful, um, but just having fear resistance with this utility based effect is pretty valuable. However, once again, until you actually need this ability, you probably can get away with not having to worry about it for now. Ideo is actually going to be receiving an expansion as well. This character is ridiculously old at this point. I think he came out with the like Bato and Cavendish batch, so quite a long time ago. His special ability on a 13 turn cooldown delays all enemies for two turns, and depending on the color of your captain, he does differing effects. So Dex or Int, you get a block empty G slots into matching and a three turn 2.75 times chain lock. However, if you've got a quick or a psi captain, he changes recovery, tandem, and bomb slots into matching, and you get a one turn. 3x chain lock there have been instances where this ability has been super good and i think in recent coliseums actually or recent arenas should i say uh, this guy has actually seen some play um he's not an awful rare recruit by any stretch and he does actually gain the provoked attack uh, effect via his expansion so uh, does he actually receive cooldown he does receive some cooldown he gets minus two cooldown going down to an 11 turn cooldown look Personally, I don't think it's worth the expansion just because his his new potential ability isn't really worth it Considering like a lot of characters have the enrage debuff or the the enrage potential ability So I don't really think it's super worth it to unlock it But if it is a character you're about to use in content potentially getting the additional two cooldown reduction may be super useful this old school Rebecca is also going to be receiving an expansion. I believe this character came out with like V2 Fujitora, I think. Super old character here. But this character, 8 turn cooldown, will deal 50k damage to one enemy, reducing both chain lock and chain coefficient reduction by 5 turns, and changes adjacent slots into matching. So it's not a great special, but I guess there may be instances where you need it. Uh, she actually does receive minus one cooldown, so she goes down to a seven turn cooldown, and she gives herself minus five cooldown at the start of the quest due to her potential ability being unlocked. 
Um, look, it's a special ability that you're not really going to be using in content. There's so many other ways that you can remove the chain debuffs in content, and single target fixed damage isn't really that useful, and the orb manipulation that she does provide isn't really that good either. So, personally speaking, this is one that you could definitely avoid. Oven is going to be receiving an expansion as well, came out with V1 Katakuri, a really long time ago for this guy. So Oven, with a 12 turn cooldown, is a pretty okay special, at least on his release, nowadays isn't very useful, allowing you to allow, you know, fighter, striker, shooter, cerebral and powerhouse characters to receive a 2 times attack boost if the enemy is delayed, otherwise it's just a fighter and a powerhouse 1.75 times attack boost for 3 turns. Uh, he actually does get double special activation upon his expansion, that's kind of interesting, but, you know, realistically, when are you using this character in content, and is the double special really that worth it? Probably not, right? Uh, he does not receive any cooldown, that's a bit of a shame though, I mean, with double special activation for a special like that, I don't know, I feel like they probably should have given him maybe one to two turns of cooldown, that would have been pretty awesome, but again, a character that will never really see that much play moving forward, you could probably avoid this one too. Baron Tamago is also getting an expansion, another relatively old unit, came out with V2 Sanji. On a 12 turn cooldown, he does a bit of dex damage to a single enemy that does ignore defense and all defensive effects, kinda interesting. And if your captain is a fighter character, he changes all fighter slots including block into matching, okay, kinda interesting. He does actually get double special activation, that's pretty cool, I do enjoy that. Um, and does he receive cooldown? He does, he goes down by minus 3, going down to a nine turn cooldown you know baron tamago's got a very good special but at the same time you have to really think about this right it's not a special that's going to see a lot of play but double special activation to get multiple turns of a full board of matching slots for your fighters yeah, maybe there might be some nice usage moving forward but personally this is not a character i would really worry about but it's a nice upgrade for this one unit the strength rare recruit bon clay is also expanding here now with his expansion let's have a look at him first with his special ability being able to remove all beneficial effects placed on the crew and if you uh, i think yeah if you're above 50 percent you're able to resist defeat for one turn giving you a resilience buff so it's not a special that sees a lot of play but it is unique in the fact that it does remove beneficial effects and also prevent you from dying pretty interesting special and you can see that he does get fear resistance so what are his crewmate effects he gives base stats by 50 and reduces special reverse by two turns well unfortunately his special ability doesn't really give you any cooldown reduction which i think would have been a nice addition to this special unfortunately not the case and due to that i probably wouldn't expand this character if this character did have cooldown reduction in their special i definitely think it would it'd, it'd be one to look out for at least uh but you know that's a little disappointing but does get minus three cooldown going down to a 10 turn cooldown which is respectable as i said it's a pretty unique special it's not a special you're going to use all the time but for the uniqueness of it it's decent but again not a character you should worry about Quick Rare Recruit Beppo is it going to be receiving the expansion next, and with his special, it's actually pretty good. It reduces 5 turns of damage threshold, and then gives one enemy a 15% health cut. So, it's a damage dealing special, and it does provide a bit of utility. Uh, with his expansion, he does receive cooldown at the start of the quest, going down by 6. And what does he get for cooldown reduction? He gets minus 2. So that'll put him down to a 9 turn cooldown with this, you know, minus 6 at the start of the quest, meaning that, you know, with cooldown and, and sockets and all that, he's going to be ready, essentially, by the start of the quest. I mean, he'll be like one turn away. So if you have like the host ship as well, you'll be able to get his special maxed at the start of a quest. Though I don't know how many situations a special like this is going to be useful at the start of a quest. But nonetheless, it's a nice upgrade for the unit but it's not a character that people will often use in content anyway. So definitely, you know, use your discretion on whether or not you really want to expand this guy. Now, due to the release of this month with all of the Sulon characters, I don't think it's any surprise to anybody that, you know, we're getting some Limit Break expansions for some Minx. The first one here is Limited Rare Recruit Pedro, and uh, so not many people may have this character, but his special is good. 
Doing a health cut, setting defense to zero, and if you have five or more slashes on the crew, changes adjacent slots into matching and gives a two times conditional against defense down. So self-proccing defense down conditional is able to change a little bit of slots around and also is a damage dealing slash health cutting special. So it's a good special ability here. 13 turn cooldown, respectable, and he does actually receive barrier penetration, which I do like. Barrier pierce is one of the best potential abilities in the game. However, for non-legends, typically barrier pierce will only work if you're above 50% health so you know take it as you will but he does receive some cooldown minus two so he goes down to an 11 turn cooldown pretty respectable special here but again it's another one of these characters that it's good on paper but doesn't see that much play but you never know sometimes you may need this type of special and the fact that he does receive barrier penetration that legit could be one of the reasons as to why you would want to expand this character in the first place because sometimes that barrier penetration is going to save you especially if there's pesky mob characters that typically you wouldn't be able to get around or maybe a little bit difficult to get around this guy being able to penetrate that straight up is going to be super useful so i guess if you need the barrier penetration or you need the cooldown that's probably the only two reasons why you'd max this guy out and then the last character in the video that's going to be receiving a Limit Break expansion is going to be, once again, another limited rare recruit, Carrot. Now this Carrot here has a special ability that will reduce Threshold and Rainbow Shield by by three turns, wish it was five turns, but then also reduces Bind duration by five turns. Bomb, G, and Empty Slots and Badly Matching Slots are all changed into matching. And if you have a Free Spirit Captain, then you get a two times conditional against delayed enemies. Unfortunately, the special doesn't really provide that condition for you it doesn't delay the enemies with this special activation nonetheless it's a pretty decent special bit of utility bit of orb change i mean when i say a bit of orb change it's actually a pretty good orb change it doesn't get rid of block slots though if they had that on top of it man it'd be a pretty broken special actually uh, and the conditional boost is a little bit niche because delayed conditional is probably one of the worst conditional boosts you can have on a character and on a uh, 13 turn cooldown it is okay it's fine but then it gets the provoked attack boost or the enraged potential ability with the expansion which is not a very good one to unlock i wish this character this this character could have received hunger this character could have received cooldown at the start of the quest there's a lot of other ones that this character could have received unfortunately you know relegated to just getting provoked attack which is not really that useful does receive only minus one cooldown at the start of the quest going down to a 12 turn cooldown personally speaking this is not a character that i that i would probably max out absolutely no way so that is the entire list of all of the brand new Limit Break expansions that are going to be arriving on February 11th, 1900 PST time. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today and you guys understand where I'm coming from with my opinions on each of these characters. I think Marineford Luffy is probably the best Limit Break expansion of the batch and depending on your team composition and what you're trying to go for, Oven or Tamago are also decent pickups as well that you could opt to Limit Break expand. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video